Hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who took part in the competition for the 30,000 subscribers. For those of you that have placed your comment underneath the video, you have taken part in the competition. The competition is still going though. It will close on the 15th and I'm going to choose three people as I have already mentioned, that will get a free reading um, from me. Thank you to all of you that have already done, you know, have you have entered in the competition already. The, the comments have been amazing. Thank you so much for your feedback. I really appreciate it. Um, as I said, it, the competition is still going to around the 15th. So if you want to enter, you need to place your comment underneath that video. Now, also I'd like to thank everyone who has purchased the Vimeo extended readings. I'm going to be doing that again today. So I will be doing your normal, um, I'm doing the normal Celtic cross at the beginning of the month. On the 15th for the second part of July, I will be doing the divine reading that I did last readings. So now these readings are going to be um, only the Celtic Cross and the extended reading will be put up on Vimeo. Again, thank you so much for your support, for your love, for your comments and everything that you do for my channel. I will be doing extra readings for the two eclipses that are coming up. Around uh, The first one is around the 12th, 13th of the month. So I'll be doing a general reading for everyone for that eclipse and then I will be doing another one for the eclipse taking part on the 27th or 28th of July wherever you are in the world depending on. So special readings, look forward to those and next week I will have the July till the end of the year, six months readings, right, for 2018. So look out for those as well. Again, I would like to thank everyone for their trust, for my clients, the people who have bought readings off me, for those of you that have bought the Vimeo readings, thank you, thank you so much. This is a major month. This month is incredible. And I'm also going to be doing one reading, one special reading on astrology on Vimeo. That will be on Vimeo. And it will be in relation to the end of June, and all of July. So for those of you that are astrology lovers, do look out for that as well. Okay, I will be starting your readings now. So I'd just like to say before I go on to the readings, happy birthday to all our Cancerian people out there. Many happy returns to all of you um, and sending you a lot of love and a lot of blessings. Okay, talk to you soon. Hello dear Capricorn, this is Kathy from Divine Debut. Thank you for visiting my channel. This is your July 1st to July 15th, 2018 general and love reading. Oh, these cards are getting a bit funny. Okay, Capricorn, I'm doing a Celtic cross. If you are interested in more cards, you want to expand on the reading. That is, if it resonates for you, obviously then I would suggest you go to Vimeo. The link is at the bottom um, in the description box. Please always know that I do the Vimeo reading straight away because I would not remember the reading. So I need a bit of time. First I upload YouTube and then it takes a little while to upload the Vimeo readings as well. So. That's why I write in the description box. Give it a couple of days. The first six videos are already up. First six videos that I have done. Okay, so a couple of days. Tomorrow, I would say, the Vimeo extended reading will be up on Vimeo. So for Capricorn, let's see. Spirit Guides and Angels, what is the messages for Capricorn three of wands someone else had the three of wands exactly here and I think 
I think it was Libra. So the oh, Four of Wands is the challenge. In the distant past, we have the Nine of Pentacles. In the recent past, we've got the Page of Cups. Crowning your reading is the Ace of Swords. Wow. In the near future, we've got the Queen of Swords. Could that be the Libra? The Libra individual in the Libra reading because, I don't know. Anyway, take a peek. It's for free on YouTube anyway. So in the position of you is the Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah. In the environment position is the Seven of Swords. Mm, hopes and Wishes is the Ten of Pentacles. And the outcome card is the Five. So we go from the Five to the Ten. Why? Oh, Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom of the reading. So looking at a situation, is it worth investing more in whatever you are um, going through at the moment Capricorn 7 is a spiritual number for me and spirituality has come up in all the readings in July we've got two eclipses taking place in the July so the eclipses are karma so what is happening in our life at the moment is karmic and where there is necessity for change that's why the eclipses are here Okay, so bringing in the change. Now the Hermit is the um, sign of Virgo, looking for answers. Um, we've also got the Stealth card in the environment, so being sneaky, sneaky. Someone is being sneaky in your midst. Let's see what's beneath that. And then we've got the Star card, which is the card of Aquarius. Aquarius is where the South Node is. That's where the Eclipse will be taking place on the 13th of no in Aquarius it will be on the 27th or 28th of July depending on where you are in the world so south node is in Aquarius north node is in Leo okay we are supposed to be letting go of Aquarian matters Aquarian people uh, anything to do with Aquarius anything that is familiar and known to us okay the star says that you can follow your dreams you can be cleansed, you can be healed, and also you may reach your goal, your desired wish, with the help of the divine. So you are spiritually, you are being spiritually enlightened. The divine is giving you messages. Um, going in and a bit of meditation would not do you any harm, dear Capricorn. Just quiet yourself, take some time on your own, and... Do not get distracted, turn everything off and just go within. The hermit is going to give you the answers that you are looking for. Okay. So. Now we've got the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is in the distant past. For me, this is the energy of Virgo, right? Having enough financially, you are quite stable. If you are, uh, if you have your own business or work in general, is paying off. It is giving you the fruits of your labor, and this is in the distant past. It is a nine. You are almost at the ten. You are hoping to get to the ten. And dear Capricorn, we know that you work very hard, very hard indeed. But you are waiting on that last pentacle is very important to me. That's there was another message. Was it was it Libra? Was it Libra? I'm not a hundred percent. I think it was. Yes, it must have been. Libra had the nine of pentacles here. I would say, and they were looking for that 10th pentacle. Now, if it wasn't Libra, it was Scorpio. 
and uh, Scorpio also had the devil which is your card so for those of you that are dealing with Librans or Scorpios I would say go and watch their video as well so nine of Pentacles in the distant past being one step before the ten this is a hope position here right you are hoping for this now the fact that the card is actually here for me it's a very positive sign it says that there is potential to get there um, so financially I would say that you're in a pretty good place but I would say that with the five of Pentacles being the outcome and uh, this card is a card of spirituality for me okay you're halfway and you are evolving spiritually here um, the message that I get overall is don't concentrate only on work and on finances you need to balance your out in every sense of in every point in your life and it's not going to happen just through work right work and financial success is not the alpha and the omega in life okay so you need to look at your emotional side look at your intellectual side you have to find the balance Capricorn that may be where you are lacking okay so the three of wands having this in the now position three of wands is having sent out your ships it's a card of expansion and growth you are waiting on the return of what you have creatively given birth to now the three is also the number of the Empress the Empress is um, an energy of giving, uh, receiving the harvest, love, uh, completion, abundance, financial, in every way. She's the um, she's very, very important in the tarot for me. She is one of the most positive cards. I would say that she comes after the sun for me. The sun is the the uh, zenith right the top but the empress comes second for me so three of wands and the challenge getting to the four of wands so now if this is in anything that you have given birth to creatively your challenge is to stabilize to get to the four where you can have a celebration your family will be on top of the world they'll be you know um behooving you they'll be giving you a pat on the back and saying good work and everyone's dream is to stabilize their life right financially emotionally creatively you know and working through creative projects and then being able to make a life out of it make a living out of it is another very rewarding feeling and emotion but the four is a challenge so You are waiting on something to do with a home, with a family situation, with, with a celebration, with a wedding. You are waiting on something. If this is, if, if you are waiting on love, if you are waiting for someone who's at a distance, right, it's going to take, uh, okay, we're in June plus four months. Yes, September, October, I would say that's when uh, the celebration will be taking place so um, in Europe September is when uh, we have the grape harvest so September October would be the time of celebration for you but the challenge is to hold on because what you have sent out is coming but it comes in with a ship so coming in but via ship is very slow it takes time now, um, <laughs> Capricorn, here you are, right on top of the star card. Beneath you is the King of Swords, which is the devil in your life, or you are the devil in their life. It can go either way. Whatever the case, there is major worry here. Okay, sleepless nights, things going around in your brain, and you need to heal. You need to heal from this. You need to heal from this individual. Is it an Aquarian? Is it a Libra? Or is it a um, Gemini? 
more than likely Aquarius, I would say. But for others of you, it could be Libra. As I said, I see, I see um, that there are similarities with the readings. So, dear Capricorn, you are trying to heal. Is it you trying to get away? Are you trying to run away from this energy here? Because the star card can mean moving away. It can speak of someone at a distance. It can speak of social media. Are you being bullied by this King of Swords through social media? Or are you at a distance with your partner, right? You're at a distance with your partner and there's a very, very strong sexual uh, pull here. And being at a distance, of course, would drive you nuts. It would drive you mad. You're having sleepless nights, staying up all night, chatting on the internet, yeah? Um, there are quite a few stories here. And in the near future, we've got the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords would be the partner of that King of Swords. So, uh, dear uh, Capricorn, if you are cutting that person out of your life, um, then you are doing the right thing. Right across from the Queen of Swords is the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is in the external position. So this person has been very sneaky with you, has been doing things that were not known to you, and you are taking a step back and cutting them out of your life, right? Um, now, this could be in a family situation, in a long-term committed partnership relationship, or this could be just, you know, you are single and you are cutting them away. Just cutting them out of your life because you are hoping to get to this position, to be grounded. Now, you are not grounded. You are up in the air. You are up in the air and you are, if you are going through hurt, you are, um, what's the word? You are protecting your heart. You are protecting your your family, your extended family, your anything, your business, you are protecting yourself here because having that devil energy right next to the King of Swords says to me that, and you know that Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is the restrictive energy. Um, so more than likely I would say that that King of Swords would be an Aquarian individual because Aquarius um, used to be ruled by uh, Saturn, uh, but as soon as Uranus was um, was founded, Uranus is the ruler, right, of Aquarius now. So, huh. Queen of Swords can be someone who is taking a step back, speaking your truth, finding out the truth, and then cutting through the crap. Now, this could be someone who is close to your family, someone who could be, probably could be at work, around you at work. And this person could have cheated on you because we do have the Three of Pentacles here. We've also got the Three of Wands. Okay, and um, dear Capricorn, I believe that this is your energy here. You, your challenge was to get to the Four of Swords, but it, there's a stumbling block ahead of you. Okay, you've uh, you smell a rat, and you have to trust, have to trust in the facts that you have received. Now, that's probably why you are doing your homework, your research with the Hermit card. Do know that the the Divine has sent you, has sent you a, a little nudge telling you to look for the information that is important. Now, you could be dealing with this person either at work. You could be working with this person through social media again. Now, what is on your mind and your crowning position is the Ace of Swords. So you are saying that's enough. Enough is enough. The Ace of Swords is cutting someone out. It's also receiving the clarity and it's also... A successful new beginning. One moment please. Okay so this is a successful new beginning and it comes straight after 
there is another offer of love coming from a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. This is an offer that has been unexpected. It is quite a um, youthful offer, so there could be an age difference, right? This person could be younger than you. And uh, the fact that it is a page, it's a sudden message coming in, an unexpected message. But also, it may not be the time for you to accept this offer. That's why this person is showing as a page. Now, I'm going to be doing more cards on Vimeo. Of course, I will be pulling extra cards on that. I'm interested to see, dear Capricorn, um, are you dealing with are you dealing with another water sign? Is there another water sign in your life? Are you closing the door? Now Virgo is quite prominent here as well. You've got the card of Virgo for me and you've got the Hermit. So Virgo could be interesting, interestingly enough in the picture as well. We've got pentacles, quite a few pentacles, right? And um, it will be interesting to see I feel as though there's another water sign in your midst. Um, I feel that the offer is coming from them. I don't feel that it's coming from the King of Swords. Now, we will see on Vimeo, but right here, right now, um, with the Page of Cups there, if there is a chance that this is an apology from your King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini, if this is an apology, I don't think that you're going to accept, okay, because you're standing in your truth. You can see clearly. You are showing up as air at this time, which says that you are being very intellectual. Now, um, as I said, if this has been a long-term partnership, relationship, that's why and I'm not saying that it's a committed one like a marriage. That's why the challenge card is the four of four of uh, wands. More than likely, it's just been a long-term relationship. I don't see the uh, the card of Libra here. I don't see the Justice card here, where you are severing ties legally. Okay, so this goes, of course, for single people and for people who have been in a relationship for a while could even be three years three years going on to four years and you're not making it to the fourth year because in your environment position we have the seven of swords okay seven is a divine number even though this card is uh, treacherous it's a terrible energy usually um, because it does speak of being sneaky it's the card of stealth now, this guy is holding five swords, so this is a battle. This could be a fight. He's leaving the two of swords, which is a decision. You know, he's just leaving. He's not making a decision. He's just grabbing those swords and moving away. So this is a fight probably that's an argument, a strong argument that happens unexpectedly and um, someone just walks out, slams the door, right? So I said it's a seven, it's the number of the divine. So whatever happens here, it is meant to happen. Okay, this person is not right for you. So they are being getting pushed out away out of your life. Now your hopes and fears, it's not a fear that you're going to get to the Ten of Pentacles. You want to stabilize your family, home, your life, your, you know, all the generations. Now Ten of Pentacles could be hitting the, the jackpot like you are getting so lucky could this be because it does break down to a one the ten does right so it's like a brand new beginning you are hoping for a brand new stable stable beginning one that you can depend on one a person that you can lean on because you are tired of people leaning on you people taking from you and this could speak of family members as well right Now, the outcome card is the Five of Pentacles. Fives uh, mean that you're halfway there. Five is a number of conflict. It's, um, 
you are feeling a sense of lack emotionally, spiritually, financially. You feel as though you are you have been beaten by life and you are left out in the cold to freeze, but you need to gather up your strength, look at that church. You need to have a different perspective. And when I say that, you need to have a look all around you. You're missing the details, dear Capricorn. And you need to take on the energy of Virgo to find those details. Okay, this is a spiritual blessing in disguise, but you need to find the way to work it out. Okay, if uh, the divine can send you help, but if you are not looking for it, it will go astray, it will go for nothing. You are receiving nudges, as I said, from the universe, but you are not listening. So you need to quiet yourself. You need to take time out, take some time off, give it a break, Capricorn. As I say to people, stop and smell the roses. You are at a successful completion point already. Nine is a number of success, right? Because nine... Um, is the last last um, digit right nine and then we go to ten where ten breaks down to a one so it's a successful completion financially you're doing really well your work is being um, recognized people are seeing your work and they are giving you a pat on the back and saying well done but that's not what only what life is okay I think that you need to balance out look look at these two cards We've got the church, we've got your belief. Your belief has got to change. You have to believe in yourself. And that's not going to happen only through what you can offer to people materially. You have to um, build on relationships spiritually with people as well. Now, what else did we have here? We had the hermit, which is details coming to light, especially with a star card. Whatever details you find are going to be a wish come true. It's going to help you because with Aquarian South Node, it's going to help you get rid of this energy here, right? So I think that you should be looking forward to the eclipses. Know that whatever is coming for you is going to help you a lot because you are on the five here. You are halfway to getting spiritually and I don't want to say financially because you're at the nine unless unless you were at the nine and this partner has drained you they may have run off with the goods they may have run off with your money they may have especially with this card here if this person has stolen from you whatever whatever it is you are at this point now now Obviously, you are cutting them out. They are losing their um, their buddy in crime, if I can say that. They are losing their other half. But maybe, maybe the lesson for your partner is that partners can not only be in crime, but they have to be also in the light, not only in the dark, right, for it to work out. Just because um, this person may have and you ha may have cut this person off financially as well you have may have done that to your partner as well they're feeling this as well well <laughs> you know lessons in life make us grow if you are the partner that is watching uh your capricorn x at the moment then this is the um this is the lesson that you are learning that yes you found a partner that was there for you. They were very hard working. You were not on the same page with them. Okay, you had other things on your mind. Okay, a lot of selfishness here. So what goes around comes around is the message. Okay, so Capricorn, what you have given, you will receive. All you need to do is wait and receive the information before you can move forward forward you are on the right path this is a test a test of uh, your strength a test of your belief so um, 
we're just around the corner with the eclipses know that uh, better things are coming in right we're all going to be put on the right path from the divine and I believe that strongly so uh, we'll have to wait and see on the Vimeo reading if we've got another water sign coming into your life I don't know if you're ready though dear Capricorn I don't know if you are ready things take time to process okay dear Capricorn thank you so much for being here um, for those of you that are going on to Vimeo look in the description box below that's where the link is um, as I said tomorrow your extended reading should be up thank you kindly many blessings to all of you I know you've had it really tough um, I think that all your blessings are going to come in all at once dear Capricorn okay Thank you so much. Stay well. Look after yourselves. Bye-bye.